I'm here to talk about the Rogue class on Rift. Rift is currently at version 2.3 Imperial Assault, but I've actually been playing the game since beta. I left for SWOTOR in 2012 but came back to Rift after it revealed itself to be nothing more than a single player game pretending to be an MMO. The focus of this discussion is going to be on ganking, surprise tactics, and PvP in general. The build I choose to use for this discussion is, and the build you're going to want to use if you want to gank, that is to say, launch surprise attacks against enemy players with such heavy bursts that it is hopeless for them to escape. That build is Barn on the Assassin class. That will be the focus of this chat and the build, as well as the tips and tactics associated with this class will be discussed as well. As an assassin, you get a few great cooldowns that are available to you. At 48 points into assassin, you get poison gas, which is a 6 second AoE fear, and slip away, which is an in combat stealth that you can use as a panic button move to get out of combat fast, and also foul play, which is a 4 second stun. These are great skills and should be on your bar and used situationally as needed. I approach a target from the front, steadily working him down with Swift Shot. He decides to turn around and engage me. I quickly pop off Threat of Death, then Jagged Strike and Impale to get both my dots on the target. Followed up by a stun, I land a Serpent Strike crit, and I uh, finish him off with a final blow. Now here we see a situation where things don't necessarily always go as planned. I open up on the target from stealth, I land a massive amount of burst damage on the target with both bleeds up and a backstab crit, puncture is procced as well. He gets healed up, uh, I continue to work him down, build up another uh, 5 combo points and with the help of threat of death I land both bleeds on him again and my poisons and continue to burn him down for a second time. Now even though I don't kill this target in this demonstration here you can easily see the amount of burst damage potential uh, that this rogue class specifically the assassin build that I refer to in this video uh, is capable of. Here we see me get the jump on an enemy player from stealth. I open up with exposed weakness and then land jagged strike and serpent strike, which procs my serrated blades. I work up to five combo points and land in pale, and I uh, get a foul play off with a quick stun, which allows me to work up some more combo points. Get behind him, land a, f a final blow crit and backstab crit, and uh, finish him off. Here we see an enemy player attempting to escape under the bridge during a codex. Now even though I'm not stealth, from my position I know that he will not be able to see me and I will get the opening attacks on my target. I use poison malice as I jump down and engage him and set off a backstab which procs my serrated blades and both my poisons. The player makes a crucial mistake by swimming back towards the scope instead of simply heading to the statue and getting out of the pond. He allows me to trail behind him landing heavy crits and eventually finishing him off on the other side. Here is an instance where an assassin can be really deadly. Now I see a healer lagging behind his group and open up on him with jagged strike and a backstab. I followed up with him pale and stun him to let the bleeds do their work. He teleports backwards instead of running to his teammates and seals his own fate. Even though he has distance on me, my bleeds are dropping his HP fast and I continue to pressure him with swift shot from range and eventually take him out of the fight. 